Hey everyone, this is Sportimus here and I'm back with another review. This time around it's with Neytiri. Here she is in her packaging. Same as all the rest, you've got the creatures in the background there. She's got her own stand, which is also the ID tag. Same thing in the back of the packaging, you've got the brief instructions on how to do it, or description I should say. The full instructions are inside the package, as well as a little bio of her. This graceful, fierce, and intelligent member of the Omatakaya clan is rightfully wary of humans. Yet, Natiri has become an unlikely ambassador to the earthly colonists on Pandora. Now, her clan position is daughter of the Oma Tukaya clan. Skills, masters of vast Navi weapons, including various bows, spears, bolas, banshee, and dire horse rider. I guess that that's what those creatures are in the front of the packaging. Proficiency in English. Wow. I'm so impressed. That said, let's open her up and see what she's like. And here she is, Neytiri, after her release from her plastic prison. As you can see, she is a female action figure. Ooh, ah. And she also comes with a bow accessory that this part here is bent like crazy because of the roundness of the bubble. So the only way they can cram it in is by bending this and this part right here. A little bit of hot water should put it back to its straight form. Just soak it in hot water very carefully and carefully bend it back to where it's supposed to be if you need to. So she comes with that. And she comes with her eye tag that also doubles as an action figure stand. And as you can see, the Navi look like they're hopped up on some kind of drug there. It's like, yo, dude, how's it going? We're like blue and stuff. And we don't have very good hairstylists. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyhow, um, yeah, so it's clear, it's blue, it's whatever. It also comes with the instruction sheet on how to do that webcam thing, blah, blah, blah. Let's take a close-up look at the figure here. As you can see, she's not wearing a whole lot either. I guess that's their thing. It kind of reminds me of the Disney Atlantis figures. Well, not, you know, the characters from Atlantis. They didn't wear a whole lot either. So I guess that's sort of a popular thing with, uh, oh, I don't know, other alien cultures or whatever. I don't know. But anyway. Um... Not bad. The eye detail is so-so, but whatever. Uh, they're, they're small figures, so what can you do? The hair is long, coming to a ponytail that is even longer. She, too, has a tail. Yeah. Anyway. Uh... If that's something that you like, uh... We won't get into that. So she's got the blue stripey thing going on too. A little bit here and there. Especially along the legs and some on the arms here. Just like the Avatar Jake Sully kind of thing. One thing to note about this figure is despite her being very thin. She stands up rather well. Which is a relief for me. Because I was thinking man these things are going to fall over like nothing. But uh, with her and Avatar Jake Sully, I really don't have that much trouble. As far as articulation goes, I think I just knocked her over, but that's because I did it. Anyway, um, as far as articulation goes, same kind of spiel. Her head can go 360, however, because of her long hair and this ponytail, it really can't go that far compared to the male figures. But she can look to her left and she can look to her right with relative decency. Again, they cannot go up and down. 
not very well anyway. No. Um, arms, 360, all the way out. Bends at the elbow, 90 degree angle. Swivels all the way around at the elbow. No wrist movement. Waist movement. She can go all the way around. Leg movement. She can do the splits. Straight forward. All the way back. Almost as much as the Jake Sully avatar. But because of her uh, dress piece here, not, not quite as much. Almost. Bends the knee very well. Not double jointed, but that's still rather decent. Swivels at the knee. And the foot can go down and up and it doesn't go around but it does kind of have that give to it. Tail is just sort of there and that's about it. Here she is with her weapon in hand and one thing to note is she does not like to hold this bow and arrow. You can get her to hold it however but really not all that well. Here is Natiri in a size comparison with some other figures from different lines we have Cobra Commander, Captain America, the G.I. Joe movie Scarlet, the ugly one, and the Star Wars Legacy Collection Art Trooper. As you can see, she's about the same size again with Captain America back there. A little bit taller than Cobra Commander, as well as a little bit taller than the Scarlet and Star Wars Trooper figures. So she fits in rather well with other lines in this case. However, 9 feet tall Again, she is not. Um, if, if only they had done it a little bit taller, it would have been pretty cool. But unfortunately, you get what you get. But despite that, if you ignore the height, um, she does fit in rather well. And not, not a bad uh, action figure. As far as paint applications go, the ones I have are not that bad. Things seem to be where they're supposed to be. and. I don't see any real defects on mine at all. Do I recommend it? Yeah. Yeah, she's definitely one of the main characters. If there are any of them that you're going to get from the line, she's definitely one of them, along with the Jake Sully avatar and Jake Sully, at the very least. They're not that badly priced, and I think uh, that you get a pretty decent amount for what you pay for. That said, this is Sportimus. I hope you enjoyed this review, and have a great day. Later.